Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello there. From understanding the nature of different mediums and the historical development of them, learning about the basics of film grammar to the rules of composition, interesting exercises in sound to the different uh, camera distances, viewpoints, movements and the different stages of production. I'm sure that the journey so far must have been a roller coaster ride. Hi, I am Selim Javed. And you are with me on a journey where we are learning about different aspects of mass communication and exploring some of the areas which will help you understand the world of audio and visual in a better way. We have tried our best to simplify the concepts by bringing in examples and exercises. We will be doing the same uh, in our uh, upcoming videos and we are very hopeful about it. In this 10th video in the series, uh, in this particular video, we together will explore uh, the roles and responsibilities of different personnel who are involved in the process of filmmaking, documentary filmmaking, television production, or in any other audiovisual format. Now, so let's start. No film, no television program, no documentary or any other audiovisual format ever gets made without a producer. Today, we will learn about different producer titles in film and television industry. Who is a producer? First, uh, let's talk about film producer or film producers. And then we will talk about different television producer and producers. As far as the film is concerned, uh, defining the role of a producer may not be as straightforward as it might first appear. It is uh, perhaps easier to understand the role of a director, uh, writer, DOP. The producer is a person who is visionary, loves the images and stories and makes a business out of it. Though many of them have never been to a film school, but the acute business sense and flash forward about the project makes them a unique individual. They can look at a script or just by weighing it can tell how much this story is going to cost. A meaning, what is the budget of the film? Producer may themselves have some idea or uh, the producer, he or she knows a writer who has got a good story. Now, this person is sure that it can be a profitable commercial venture. So, if he or she has got money, the production is on. Or in case, if he or she doesn't have money, uh, they know whom to uh, approach and where to find money. A producer is the one who assembles the army of creative people and technicians and attaches the big name with the project. He or she is one of uh, he or she is the one who tries to make the project creatively and commercially more viable. He or she can be um, a first time producer who has been in some other business and wants to try out and taste the world of clamor or someone um, uh, suppose an EP has approached him with a viable commercial option or uh, uh, they may come from a long line of family business, uh, from the family business, filmmaking business itself, or they are money people and genuinely wants to make a good film. They may come from any walk of life. 
a producer is one who can invest the seed money at uh, his or her own seed money or can loan it from a bank or a private money lender if he or she has been a regular independent producer uh, chances are that some uh, studio may extend the support for a particular project but it solely depends on the performance of his last project or last few projects the producer's role is challenging a constant battle to remain faithful to the world of moving images and battling against the constraint of time and money Her, he or she is technically speaking is a driving force behind the project now after producer let's talk about executive producer as i promised you in the last video if you look at the proper description of executive producer it's an important part of producer's team they are the one who knows how to meander in the in the uh, world of uh, movie money to secure the investor be that financer or some company or government tax in, in incentives or some studio deals but in india executive producer is someone who knows um, uh, how a film is made and sold but does not have the money in indian scenario it is producer who has got the money um, his own or he has borrowed it from some other source and uh, an executive producer is hired by the producer to make it happen if the producer is a regular producer then he or she can have one or two executive producer to handle uh, uh, the different projects that are going on simultaneously in case of a film uh, uh, in case if the if he is a first time producer the role of the executive producer becomes crucial and he and she is now responsible from the inception to the release of the film among many duties of the executive producer one of the main responsibilities of the executive producer is to introduce the producer to the investor and and closing the deal with the investor it is up to the investor uh, whether he or she is only interested in return in terms of the uh, financial commitment or do i get a credit kind of a thing if uh, if you decide to take the financer as a co-producer chances are that you are actually sweetening the deal oh as far as um, uh, this uh, executive producer title is concerned if you remember in the last video i promised to you Uh, uh showing 100% legal uh, uh contracts uh so i fulfill my promise and show you some of the uh, 100% legal contracts on which you can actually uh, hire anyone in india any anyone i am talking about any actor in india any director in india so a contract basically comes in two shapes one something like this is basically on a notary uh, where you have um, 100 rupees uh, notary and it is basically made by a lawyer uh, but the content which is there is basically uh, provided by me so you either can have it on a notary or you can have it on uh, on basically the letter head of Uh, of the production company now both are 100% legal it depends on the nature of the company what kind of company that is that is but if it is on the uh, letter head of the company and that company is registered it's a legal document it's 100% legal document so um this is basically of this this contract is of a director and this contract is of a very big actor that's why it's on this so uh basically the contracting is 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 a, is a integral part of production now and um, if you have contract 
um, it's basically 100% legal now. So you can actually hold anyone responsible for not fulfilling the job and uh, to have uh, the knowledge how to make contracts. There are many contracts available in market. If you go to any website and see uh, the, the contract of a music director or the contract of an actor, the kind of contracts you, you see, those kind of a contract has got uh, uh, many legal loopholes. Like I just read out something uh, from the director's contract and you will understand what kind of a language is written in this. So the engagement, so the title in this contract is engagement. So the director is an experienced creative consultant and has approached the producer and has approached the producer to offer specialized direction service uh, services for the producer's feature film in Hindi language presently uh, tentatively titled as so and so, I am not reading out the name of the film of which this is the contract. Hereafter referred to as the film constituting a cinematographic film for the purpose of the Copyright Act 1957, which the producer has agreed to and hereby engages and the director who accepts such engagement uh, upon the terms and conditions he conditions herein contained. Director may have to collaborate or individually conceptualize the visual content of the film and interpret the script and other film material to be exhibited in connection with the commercial exploitation of the film and work towards achieving producer's demand and artistic and creative expression. The director shall assist with production planning and consult on logistics. Director shall also render services in connection with the audition, rehearsal, production, post-production, photography, trailer, promotional, hereafter collectively referred to as content and otherwise in connection therewith until producer secures a fully edited composite print thereof of any format ready for its commercial exploitation oblique release thereof satisfactory to producer. Now this is only a small, um, uh, only a very small part I have uh, read. And I'm sure um, uh, if you really have to make, to understand it, you really have to rewind it and then you really have to uh, see what I'm saying. So it is, if I can show you, it's like basically such a small printout, such a small font size. It's so small font size. And this contract is like, uh, how long is that? How many pages are there? Around eight or nine pages are there or of same font size. And interestingly now, let me read another section from an actor's uh, contract. So what is the background of the contract? So it says, company intends to produce a theatrical motion picture for its theatrical exhibition and other commercial exploitation. The actor is a well experienced person having acted in stage plays, motion pictures, television broadcasts, etc. and being adept at interpreting dramatic characters has approached, again has approached the producer to perform as an actor and render services to the company not limited to and immediately in respect of the producer's Hindi feature film tentatively titled so and so, I am not telling you the name, uh, for the consideration and upon the terms subject of the conditions set out in this agreement which the producer has consented to. Now, that's what if you remember in the last video I said but when you basically sign your contract. It's for everyone because you will be going in market and signing uh, these contracts. I, If you remember, I said in the last video that when you sign the contract, you don't see it. It's good time. It's happy time. You don't see it. 
but when you become a professional in your life as soon as you become a professional you'll be going through these contracts uh, like i have got different different contracts it's of it's of um, dop um it's of uh, uh, our director this is of uh, line producer so there are basically uh, like everybody is contracted when we make a film or any when you go and act in television also you have contracts and when you go and join you you know you sign your joining letter there are terms and conditions so that is also a contract before you sign anything that is this is a piece of advice before you sign anything in your life and especially in your professional life read that carefully because as i read these two paragraph um, sometimes it becomes very difficult to understand that's what when i teach in classes this is one of the area where i really focus uh, very much and i um, aware i i ask students my my students to really pay attention to what you are signing for i tell you an incident um, um it's basically in the public domain and i am just i will not take names and i'll tell you the details a very big music company today is a music company uh, the kind of a music company it is today is only on the basis of these contracts like suppose you are a singer and i ask and you come to me and i uh, say all right um, suppose your name is mohan and you are a good singer so mohan uh, you are a brilliant singer and um, you will record your first song with me and here is the check of uh, 50000 rupees what will you do you will immediately grab that 50000 because recording of the first song okay and they are giving you 50000 rupees also so you immediately accept that check and you sign that and um, uh, yes i'll be recording my first song with this particular company which is a huge company everything is fantastic trust me for many singers that first song never happened because unless until you do not finish this first song you cannot go for other songs what will you do if somebody steals your story what will you do if you have worked really hard and you do not have credit um, in the in the product be that film documentary uh, television show and uh, any any form of audio visual content what will you do so for that when you are signing that the, the only remedy is when you're signing the contract read it and read it very carefully in this way you have a co-producer on board too and in case if the financer has not asked for any credit you as a producer can oblige him by giving him or her a title of associate producer now let's talk about line producer as per paper description he and she is the one who knows how to make film but again in in, in context um it, it's not the job the description in india a line producer is being approached by the producer or uh, executive producer they are hired as per the location so for north india there is one line producer and for south india there is another line producer a line producer has got a team which has members like uh, location manager transport manager and many runners runners are also known by the name of production assistant these line producers are the one who are responsible for providing locations and securing the required permission from the government bodies and local uh, and local authorities uh, local support system for a particular location like food boarding lodging and um, below the line members and calling below the line members are also the responsibility of the line producer in india the next job title is creative producer the post of creative producer emerges in case if the producer is not being able to fulfill the job this person is creative organized 
and well connected um, uh, and understands well connected in industry and understands uh, all aspects of production uh, from development to final edit now the next title is impact producer uh, this is more uh, this is a specific role more often for uh, documentary film which has a, a mission or a message and wants to effect change whether this is uh, raising awareness or inspiring some action he or she is instrumental in defining the film message they are also known by the name of uh, outreach or community engagement consultant or strategist after the uh, after this film and uh, documentary let's talk about the world of television producers first in the list is assistant producer an assistant producer is the one who works closely with the producer both editorially and creatively the assistant producer can often play a key role conducting much of the hands on kind of a shooting scripting editing uh of the programming uh, of of the program content now next in the series is program producer or series producer he or she has overall business sense like budgeting contracting and creative also like script and editing and uh, quality management uh, responsibilities of the program now again in television also we have line producer so line producer is uh, basically uh, works in a film or television drama they are hired at the end of the production period uh, they are hired at the uh, stage of the development of the production period and to manage below the line budget and are responsible for hiring the crew uh, in case if they are not brought in by the film or television crew now the next job title is edit producer now who is edit producer edit producer is usually employed on series or game shows or reality shows they oversee the editing stage of product they need to have a strong storytelling and scripting skills and be able to weave several parallel storylines into the program next in the series is studio producer now he or she works with a television studio with presenters and has a gallery or transmission experience their job is to see the content of the program ensuring that the overarching concept tone and style of the program is being delivered in a rightful manner then the next job title is development producer while he or she generates and develops ideas into script proposals and program formats these projects are then pitched to television companies and uh, and uh, other sources of finance in television again you have executive producer well they tend to uh, oversee several projects in different stages of production often at the same time they liaison uh, or or they liaise closely with the program producer broadcasters or commissioning bodies they are involved in all aspects of business and management of the production the next job title in the series is field producer in a film he or she or in a, in a film or television program he or she is the person who assists the producer in production that takes place in non studio setting in television a video producer uh, who works remotely to assist in the production of a piece of an overall production next in the series is showrunners they are basically television uh, producers who have an overall creative vision for a series and who have authority and management responsibility over the very various directors who have been hired for specific episodes now this was all about uh, um producers film and television now from the producer world let's move to the world of writers now who is a writer a writer is the one who writes the story of a film he or she can also write the screenplay of the same story or dialogue of the same story but they can also be three different people 
In two of our coming videos, we will be exploring the world of film writing, short film writing, documentary writing and television serial writing. In those videos, we will learn how we can create a situation and how we can make it more impactful with the medium with the medium only the format of writing changes but the core remains the same we will be exploring news writing when we will be uh, starting our journalism part in in coming videos too now uh, so he's a writer now let's talk about script supervisor he or she is the one who takes care of the continuity in a full length feature film they are the one who are responsible to keep a tap on whether what has been in the screenplay has actually been delivered by the respective actor or not and if it has been delivered then whether it has been delivered exactly or not was there any improvisation in dialogue or not if yes then it is the responsibility of the script supervisor to note that change in the screenplay and give it to director or or chief assistant director before leaving the project script coordinator the first draft of a screenplay is never complete and final draft is a misnomer so there are multiple drafts in between script coordinator manages the each draft and decoding it for all the crew members story producer this term is related to television industry he or she is the one who bears the overall thematic and story arc responsibility across episodes either to maintain the episodic graph via editing or in case of uh, other entertainment formats like live show through source footage also there are they are the last man standing who bear the pressure of raising trp via story devices now the next job title is songwriter everybody knows about songwriter so songwriter is the one who writes the lyrics of a uh, of of a song uh, song makes our film industry unique and grants a distinct identity to our indian film industry sahid rudhyanvi shailender majroor sultan puri shakil badayuni gulzar javed akhtar samir anjan prasun joshi irshad kamil or uh, amitabh bhattacharya are some of the famous hindi lyricist of our country a director is called the captain of the ship named film he or she is the one who leads the creative and aesthetical side of the film making process by actualizing the words from pages to uh, making them into moving images on silver screen and creating a sense of believability by guiding the actor's performance along with his valuable or her valuable inputs in all the departments uh, so he or she has a great say in each and every department involving in the filmmaking process the entire film is a director's vision first assistant director he or she is the one who is uh, ultimately responsible for the scheduling of the film first assistant director or the first ad works in liaison with production manager and director because he or she is uh, head and uh, uh, responsible for the scheduling so it becomes very important for him or her to maintain a conducive working environment for all the crew members second assistant director he or she is responsible for creating and delivering a call sheet to all the crew members and their hods on a daily basis the daily call sheet which is prepared by second assistant director as it is one of his major responsibilities gives an idea to all the production team about all the important details of next day shoot third assistant director he or she is the one who moves the second and third line of actors from unit base to the set they are the one who are responsible for managing crowd as per the scene requirement and manage one or two assistants from production department also now you can have many production assistant like you can have fourth also fifth also uh, sixth also so what these people do they basically make uh, they work in liaison with some specific department
Now, when you are uh, talking about director, let's talk about casting director also. Casting director's job is the job to know a lot of uh, actors so uh, that they can advise and present to the director the best of the existing possibility. In this case, we are talking about actor. Therefore, it is the casting director's responsibility to delicate balance of showcasing uh, the actors as per directors, producer, uh, sensibility, taste and expectation. Now, casting director also has got a lot of people. So, he has casting associate. Uh, so, basically casting associates are the second um, uh, chain in command in a casting business. Uh, once a casting associate has worked for two years in the field of casting, they can apply for membership in cast, uh, different casting societies in India. Next in the casting department, the next job title is casting assistant. This is an entry level position in the field of casting. These people go above and beyond the call of duty and typically work as an office assistant also. They do um, everything from uh, conveying phone calls to make copies, setting up auditions and equipment etc. Now, in the, in the same series, we are talking about interns, interns in casting director. A key intern will work with uh, many busy casting directors, sorting mails, help actors to sign in and keep the flow of the actor going in and out when the casting is going on. There are readers in casting director, in, in, in casting direction department. This person reads all the characters line opposite to actor who is auditioning. Now, when we are talking about casting director, there can be another casting director uh, like uh, background casting director. If the casting director, the first we were talking about and his department, if the first casting director is a big name and has roped in big actors with the project, then you hire another person responsible, uh, responsible for booking all the background, ex uh, background artists, extra performers, stand-ins and photo doubles. Now, after this uh, uh, casting direction uh, department description, uh, let's move in front of the camera. Now, let's talk about actors. Now, let's talk, uh, the first in the series is lead actor or actress, whom we call hero or heroine in normal life. In India, they are the selling point for a film. If your film has A-list actors, consider your film, uh, consider the release of your film, and it's not a problem. Lead actor charges as per the as per their brand value, and uh, they are called protagonist also. And typically, it is the largest role in the film. Next in the series is supporting actor and actresses. They are the brothers, sisters, mother, father, uh, friend, and foes of the protagonist. A speaking role that is less. Uh, then that of a lead actor, but bigger than the bit part. There is something called principal actors too. A principal actor is a performer who has got some decent number of lines. Bit part. A role in which uh, there is a direct interaction with principal actor, but does not have more than five lines. Now, photo doubles or body doubles. An actor who resembles a principal actor who is used to perform on camera in place of a person. So you replace the actor, so like OTS kind of a shot, to peeche se dikha diya and ho gaya. And then you have um, uh, stunt actors also. If you have seen uh, this film, uh, Once Upon a Time in uh, Hollywood. So they are basically trained to perform in front of the camera. So. Um, body double was there in uh, once upon a time. Now you have background uh, or extra performers. They are basically non-speaking role. If you remember, I explained about this in uh, in the last video where I gave you the example of Jiski uh, Bivi Lambi Uska Bhi Bada Naam Hai. So I, I gave you the example of that. Now next in the series is basically stand in. Now, a background or extra performer who is used as a substitute for the principal actor for the purpose of setting up the upcoming shot. This allows the director or the director of photography to set the light and rehearse the movement that will take place in front of the camera later. Understudy. Next job title is understudy. A performer hired to do a role only if the feature actor is unav unavailable to perform, used primarily 
in theater now after the actors now let's talk about the person who captures them amazingly on screen we are talking about dop director of photography dop and cinematographer the two interchangeable terms um though there is a huge difference between the two but both are the one who heads the camera and lighting department on a film set director of photography is responsible for the visual execution of director's imagination and expectation camera operator he or she is the one who operates the film camera on behalf of dop but at many sets especially in medium and low budget film the dop also operates the camera now same in the list is first assistant camera a film is shot with variety of lenses and mainly with prime and block lenses and also sometimes with varying focal length lens also in a situation like this focus becomes a crucial factor first assistant camera or the first ac is responsible for sharp focus unless you are going for a rack focus now in the same list we have a uh, second assistant camera as sound is recorded separately on a film set the clapboard becomes an essential item in this process the second assistant camera or the second ac gives clap at the beginning of each shot which is recorded in camera and on separate sound device simultaneously uh, for further use uh, and he or she also oversees the log book the next job title is loader as digital camera has taken over so this job title is a rarity they basically used to load the film when the physical film was there camera production assistants are usually a trainee in the camera department digital imaging technician or dit as cinema has gone digital the internal working of digital camera on set is one of the major responsibilities of dit next in the list is data wrangler data wrangler people often confuse between dit and data wrangler if we are dealing with data it means that we are dealing with digital camera the transfer of data from camera to the hard drive is the sole responsibility of data wrangler steady cam operator it is a kind of metal jacket to which a camera is attached to the person who is skilled in handling camera on his body with this jacket on is called steady cam operator motion control technician or motion control operator with the advent of new technologies in handling the film camera it gives variety of camera movements the technician operating this particular uh, camera control rig in the camera robotics which is able to give special camera movements and it creates a great effect video split or uh, assistant operator when there is a special simultaneous out taken for director to see the visuals on monitor to watch each shot it is all done with video split gaffer he is the chief lighting technician his responsibility uh, uh, includes the understanding of light design prepared or instructed by dop and the execution of it also the entire lighting department comes under him best boy electrical the main assistant to gaffer is called best boy lighting technicians they are known by the name of lighting men on set and are responsible for the physical installation of light as per the light design directed by the dop next list of personnel is of grip they are the people who are trained rigging and special lighting artisan key grip the key grip is uh, responsible for all the activities related to lighting and camera movement on set it means that he works closely with dop and gaffer they are not in the business of putting the lights but in controlling the light best boy grip 
just like the best boy electrical we have best boy grip he is the main assistant to key grip dolly grip a dolly is more than a plank to which four wheels are attached and it can be hydraulic in nature also it runs on a lay track on leveled ground the dolly grip is responsible for pushing in and pushing out and sideways along with the character or revealing the movement in this entire movement the camera operator or camera assistant is handling the camera on it now let's move to the world of sound this domain is headed by sound recordist and it is about uh, dual system sound recording he or she is responsible for all the sounds that are going to occur in a shooting process it is about the type of microphones that we are going to use in a particular situation and about the sound recorder it is about capturing the signals in real time boom operator or boom swinger have you ever seen a gun mic uh, poking in the frame maybe not because boom operator places the mic on a boom pole just on the edge of the frame while recording the best possible sound and without disturbing the frame or the actors now after these let's talk about very important person and he is the production designer basically a production designer heads the three departments simultaneously art makeup and costume these departments are ultimately responsible for the look and feel of the film let's understand these departments separately our director he or she is the one who gives a physical shape to sets or arranges the location maybe a house as per the need of the script he or she heads a battalion of artists along with different craftsmen set designer he or she deals with the inside and outside of the architectural aspect of the set design illustrator from mind to the piece of paper this is the journey of an illustrator he or she is responsible for etching the imagined things on paper set decorator as the name suggests he or she is responsible for embellishing the set along with taking care of the setup uh, properties on a film set buyer he or she is like the runner from the production department he or she is responsible for all the purchases and renting for the art department said dresser if your location suits architecturally but not uh, thematically said dresser will come to rescue you what will be the part of background setting is his or her area props master there is a huge difference between what is part of the set and props he or she manages these props on sets standby props he or she is a kind of an assistant to prop master on set and takes care of the props in use while maintaining the continuity or we can say maintaining the desired continuity of props during the production he or she is uh, responsible for bringing in and moving out of the props on set props builder from uh, construction of uh, laser light to the wang sound props builders are good with electronic mechanical molding of any kind and construction of props required for any sort of film armorer all the guns and cannons that we see on that big screen well they have it all for you they deal with the firearms construction coordinator or construction manager as the job title suggests he or she is into hiring construction crew for a film set it can be a laborer to the painter or carpenter he or she supplies the uh, construction of set key scenic he or she is about the texture of anything that exists on set from aging to gilding from wooden surface treatment to metal effect they do it all for your film on set greensman all the greenery or scenery that you see within the frame it's all comes under him or her
next job title in the series is swing gang in the film making a swing gang is the one or more uh, one or more people who make last minute change on a film set uh, directed by the lead, lead men they are directed by a title called lead men the swing uh, gang is responsible for moving furniture dressing props and other set decorations on and off the set the swing gang is basically the part of the uh, set dressing department makeup artist it depends what kind of a project you are working on if it is a normal kind of a project then uh, it is uh, simply a simple makeup and hairdo and if it is a major project then along with uh, its routine responsibility it is about prosthetic and special makeup which has the ability to transform the normal person into a uh, a uh, a doll or an alien now next de- next department in the series is hairdresser if you require a specific kind of hair styling to convey some specific meaning or you have a period film then you can have it as a separate department the hairdo of all the people that appears on the screen has to go through the combo of a hair stylist they are uh, with or many times under makeup department in pre production stage the, the initial breakdown is provided by the production department as different personnel are hired for their specific department they again sit down with the script and do the script breakdown as per their own department specification now next uh, uh, department is costume department you must have heard about costume designer so the to- job title is costume designer the duties of a costume designer is to determine costume needs of the production for which he or she breaks down the script and costume plots he or she is responsible for sketches rendering of the costume um clarifies and assigns duties to all the costume department personnel attend production meetings determines visual look concept of costume in conjunction with the producer director production designer art director and director of photography a costume designer can have lot of people under him or her so the next job title in the series is assistant costume designer they assign and is responsible to costume designer they do script and costume breakdown assist in drawing up the department budget uh, does needful costume research may select the may select and organize costume for secondary players or for extras with the approval of designer and acts as a liaison with different departments on on set then you have costume supervisor responsible to the designer obviously assist in establishing budget oversees expenditure and all related paperwork sets up and supervises workshop and is responsible for uh, rental in- inventory organizing background performers fitting and again also responsible for establishing the connection with other department then the next job title costume supervisor the duties are basically uh, to act as a costume designer's representative on set and he or she is in charge of the costume when they arrive on shooting set make sure that the costumes are prepared and worn as per the designer's wish and uh, oversees the layout of the costume in a camera ready condition and also supervises on set costume personnel and maintains the costume continuity also then you have background costume coordinator he or she works as a liaison to the assistant director to determine all the requirements uh, s- uh, selection and organizing costume for background performers uh with approval from costume designer then the next job title is cutter again the duties are uh, uh, they are responsible for fabrication patterns 
cutting, fitting and construction of costume uh, from, uh, from specific design uh, for specific some specific requirement or sketches provide uh, or the sketches provided by the costume designer. The cutter determines the uh, uh, and trims for the costume uh, may assist in selecting material and supervises costume construction also. Then next in the series is breakdown artist or dyer. They, the duties are that they dye, they paint and uh, distress fabric and costume garments as designated by the costume designer. Then next job title is truck costumer. Duties are basically organizing supplies of maintaining the truck in order uh, in orderly fashion, maintain costumes in a camera ready condition including laundry, dry clean, aging and necessary breakdown as required. Does costume layout, he or she does costume layout and wrap and has a working knowledge of script breakdown and continuity systems. Next in the series is costume buyers. A buyer is basically responsible for purchasing the material and costumes establishes and maintains a good relationship with the vendor obviously because he has to buy so that he can return unused clothes in a professional and timely manner then you have costume assistant he basically works for anyone in the hierarchy with anyone and all aspects of uh, prep and shoot, shopping, swinging, costume breakdown, dyeing, pressing, steaming, laundry and dressing uh, background performers also. Now the next title is seamster and seamstress and interestingly they are tailors. So the tailor duty, um, so, so the responsibility of, of them is basically fitting, altering and uh, construction of costumes and uh, as assigned by the costume designer or the cutter. So from the world of production now move to the world of post-production. So when we talk about uh, post-production the first name comes in the mind is editor. So let's talk about a film editor. A film editor must be technically and creatively sound. Editing is often called the invisible art because most of the editor creates a seamless finished product with no hiccups. The film editor's job is to join various shots and make a scene out of it and eventually the entire film. From assembly cut to rough cut, from rough cut to fine cut and then from this fine cut to final cut. These are the stages how a film is being finalized throughout different cuts. A film editor works closely with the director and tries to realize the vision of the director. It is an old adage of uh, film world that films are made and destroyed on editing table. Assistant editor. He or she is the one who is responsible for sorting all the OK takes from the logbook. In many projects, the editor now stays on set as the shoot goes on and do the assembling of OK takes place on that particular day or on that particular night. In case of a big editor, the work is done on set by the assistant editor. Negative cutter. In case of physical film uh, used in the shooting process, uh, once the film is processed, he or she is uh, responsible for assembling the negative for the printing process. Colorist. He or she is the one who with uh, color correction adjusts the tone of the scene or entire film as per the mood of the film to achieve greater consistency. Offline editor for video production. He or she works closely with the director to assemble the various shots into a coherent film. Online editor for video production. Now he or she deals with the live situation of shooting and makes, makes sure about the broadcast delivery standard. Let's from editor now let's move to the world of sound and music. Now the job title is sound designer. 
he or she is responsible for uh, creating the sound world of the film they are the one who makes it a believable and natural world on the flat screen where we are lost for few hours if you remember in the last uh, in eighth video in video number 8 where we talked about the importance of appropriate sound uh, three types of sound human voice music and sound effect and how the silence is the absence of sound the difference between sound and voice terms like three p's um that are called the uh, life of sound um uh, like production propagation and perception fidelity parallel sounds and contrapuntal sounds synchronous and asynchronous sound diegetic and non diegetic sound etc they all come to play here and are practically used a sound designer contributes towards uplifting the entire film through sound in post production process dialogue editor he or she is the one who specializes in synchronizing the audio file with the okay takes sound editor he or she is the one who specializes in putting and appropriating the sound effect as per the shot and scenes re-recording mixer he or she is responsible for balancing all kind of sounds that are prepared by all the people dealing with sounds like dialogue music sound effect etc music supervisor this position is everywhere be that film television video games online content theater or animation to meet the need of music as per the project be that uh, musical licensing or negotiating for it he or she is the one who works as a liaison officer between creator and the buyer composer he or she is the one who makes tunes with some musical instrument or without it may be only by humming also uh, the melody is his or her forte folly artist when you pluck a hair from your head do you hear any sound no we do not but someone who creates it it is the one who is a folly artist uh, he or she is the one who creates these these wonderful sounds a folly artist invents the sound effects that are dubbed onto the visual a folly stage is the workshop where they create different kind of effects uh, for the recording now from editor let's move to visual effects supervisor the process of creating visual effects is long challenging and very technical teams are large and are very diverse which means there are opportunities for all type of people ranging from hardcore coders through to illustrators and non artist as visual effects are getting sophisticated day by day so there are many conventional and non conventional departments that are getting merged in it there are many departments which are earlier were the part of some other department but now are us- are gradually become the part of the visual effect for example the department of lighting uh, has merged with vfx and the state of the role of visual effect supervisor he or she leads the department compositor compositor is the last stop in vfx route they are the one who are responsible for the final look of the film roto or paint artist in after effects go to animation and track in moka ehi press the head for button and all the hard work will be taken care of you can also mask away the character or an object out of your shot matte painter matte painters create an illusion of the environment which is not present on set or on the location still there are so many departments left like um action director and his team choreographer and his or her team the entire section of food travel and lodging 
the world of sport boys and actors boys the web developers the accountants the legal team the production of uh, the production office people and so much more if you genuinely want to know about all the personnel related to film and their roles and responsibility trust me it can take months what i have just explained in this video is not even 10% of their responsibility and i have just tried to explain some of them in this video I hope that the information provided in this video will come handy whenever you need it. Uh, and I'm sure that this video must have solved many of your doubts too. I look forward seeing you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.